There's a few important things that need to be addressed when it comes to Washington 1.4 update, and these are the five considerations you need to know about. Probably one of the most surprising things that came out of 1.4 livestream was the announcement of Child's Return, and what's even more interesting, Rosaria will be the featured 4-star on his banner. Now this actually means quite a few things, and the most important ones to consider would be the question of who are going to be the remaining featured 4-stars, because unlike any other wishing event we had, the focus more or less is going to be put on Rosaria, not Child, or at least not the way we have been used to. And that's mostly because the majority of players get excited about a new 5-star character, which gets announced, and then we will our options in terms of visual and gameplay factors of the character, and this time around, Child is going to be together in the same banner as Rosaria, which could be an extremely lucrative time to wish for somebody who has saved up or can afford a very strong 5-star character and multiple constellations of a new 4-star character. However, at the same time, this is also a free-to-play friendly banner, because the only new character is Rosaria, which shouldn't be as hard to obtain as Child based on the random nature of the gacha, so this is very beneficial for those who are primarily interested in obtaining new characters. Characters. Of course, nothing is ever guaranteed, and you could end up not getting Rosaria if you set yourself up with a certain Primo Gem budget. Still, the bizarre nature of this banner is truly fascinating, and even though we still haven't got the most concrete idea of how powerful or useful Rosaria is going to be, but at least from the footage we've seen, she actually is looking to be like a very decent support character for Child, and even though Freeze team comps aren't the most popular, since Vaporize or Mel tend to dominate endgame content, it's still extremely potent and can help you save up time in places like the Spiral Abyss, since you can keep your enemies in one place without letting them escape your attacks. And what's even cooler is that Rosaria's burst pulsating damage does seem to look like something Child will be able to take advantage of when using his Hydro Blades, so keeping your enemies under control for some period of time is going to be not only valuable, but also exciting as well. So in essence, one of the big dilemmas that had to be addressed was the banner of Rosaria and Child, and how this could possibly affect your future decision making, and right now, even without the other 4 star characters shown to be featured together with Child, it's safe to assume there's some value to be found for everyone who tends to enjoy the wishing part of the game. One of the things that's very predominant in gacha games is the amount of value you're getting for investing your resources into something. And when it comes to Venti, there's probably no one else, at least strategically speaking, that can provide so much value and power, and what's even more crazy about it is that you can literally equip him with the worst kind of artifacts, and you're still going to be clearing things faster than you would with nearly anyone else. And even though the last statement is partially incorrect, the thing that makes Venti so powerful is the lack of setup you need for payoff, because all you really need to do is use the burst and then unleash your best attacks on the neatly grouped stack of enemies. But things get even more ridiculous once you equip them with a full set of Viridescent artifacts, which don't even have to be leveled up and you can take advantage of the foresight bonus. So in other words, Venti makes a lot of things easy in the game, and of course, he does become less useful when you're going up against large enemies, but even then, the bonus attack that kicks in from Viridescent and even the damage output he provides, if you do bother leveling and equipping him, is actually very good, so it's pretty hard to find anything that could be disadvantageous for when you're using him. And it's probably safe to say that for a lot of people who are looking to make new accounts or simply want to re-roll, this is going to be a good banner to restart from, but this mostly applies to those who want a fresh start with an insane character. Still, the current situation we have with Genshin Impact is that the more time you spend playing the game, the less challenging things become, and even though Venti is in the league of his own, you're not actually preventing yourself from advancing further into the Spiral Abyss, which means he's not a mandatory character to own. So the main takeaway would be that Venti is an extremely valuable, low-cost character that pulls his weight right from the start and will make a lot of things less challenging for you, but at the same time, it can still beat all of the content without him. However, if you like to get excited about the idea of pulling an overpowered character, then by all means, this is a banner for you. After all, part of the joy of playing gacha games is the fact that you just got someone very powerful from your pull. If there's one thing that we have learned from Staff of Homa, then it would be the fact you can even get excited for a new weapon banner, and now that we also know there's going to be at least 4 new weapons coming out in 1.4, the big question here would be whether or not we should care, and how much of an impact they could have on our gameplay. And probably the best thing to do now would be to wait for the announcement from Mihoyo, so they could confirm the exact dates of this weapon banner, and then compare it against Venti, Child, and potentially the second weapon banner that we don't know anything about. But this could get even more interesting 
interesting if they decide to put all of the new weapons into a single banner, and then we could definitely expect to see the demand rise up, even for those who would want to get some new 4 stars into their arsenal, since for the most part, it's only recommended to wish from these 5 star banners if you're a high paying customer or have finally decided on your team and want to focus on obtaining 5 star weapons for them. Just keep in mind that for the best deal, it's always important that either of the featured weapons on the banner would be acceptable for you, since there is no guarantee to pull a specific one that's shown. Still, this is a very surprising addition to the upcoming update, and because we did witness Staff of Homa getting featured together with Lithic weapons, it's highly likely all of this new equipment might get stuffed together into a single banner. Even though the surprise of a third mystery character banner could potentially be introduced in 1.4 update, there's also evidence pointing that Mihoyo isn't playing hide and seek this time around. And probably the most common argument you will hear about the decision to delay the announcement of Hu Tao was the fact it would be happening during the Lunar New Year, which treats the topic of death as a taboo during the celebratory period. And since Walnut is based around this very same topic, it's possible that Mihoyo, who is a company based in China, would be honoring this tradition. But no matter what was the actual reasoning behind it, at least we had some hints about her arrival that ranged from her name card added in the update to the bold red letters of letting us know more wish events that are to come. And in the case of 1.4, there is nothing like that and the only suspicious thing they have done so far in terms of speculating whether we would see a third mystery banner would be the fact they did not disclose the length of the venti and child banners. So until we learn about the actual dates of these wish events, you can pretty much plan around the ones that have been announced, but keep in mind the developers are starting to make more changes to the regular schedule of things we're used to, so anything is possible at this point. With everything that has been mentioned so far, if we take all things we have seen at face value and assume that there will be no surprises in the update, we ultimately end up with an interesting dilemma if we were to decide which banner to go for, even if we do not know what the featured 4 stars are going to be aside from Azaria. And to make things simple, if you have the primo gems and you care about getting an overpowered 5 star character, then Venti is definitely a top choice and you might just have enough leftovers to wish for at least one Rosaria from Child's banner. However, the sole power of character for the most part is irrelevant because at endgame most of it will actually get from artifacts not the characters and having good knowledge of how to play and build your team is far more important than someone like Venti who does have a button for winning fights more easily. So this means there's basically no risk at this point to choose whichever banner you prefer more and one thing is clear, even at zero constellations, Child is an extremely powerful character that has a very similar mechanic to Hu Tao, so if you already enjoy her playstyle and like the idea of building a team that swaps in and out characters, instead of relying on a single damage dealer, then Child could be the harbinger to add to your collection. And even if we don't know what the final versions of the weapons will be, if that's something that you're most interested about, then your best bet would be to wait until we get to see the actual stats Mihoyo will disclose and then compare with the banner these new weapons will get released along with. Either way, it's surprising to say the least we won't be seeing a new 5 star character in 1.4 and having the full knowledge about someone's power before they get released is truly a weird and exciting feeling to have. There's a lot of interesting things to cover about Genshin's new update and if there's any mistakes included, make sure to check out the pinned comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and gently press the like button. For more up-to-date news, follow us on Twitter, link in the description. Thank you for watching us and see you in the next video.